This is the traditional Chinese lion dance um, called Shi, um, and it's a, based on a mythical Chinese lion. So it's, some people think call it the dragon by mistake, and it's not a dragon. It's a it's a actually just a mythical creature called a shizhe in China, and it brings good luck. So a lot of times you see it at weddings, uh, you see it at grand openings for businesses because it's a it's technically a demon, a good demon that scares away the bad demons. Um, so, and then we perform it today because it's the grand opening of the Asian Art Wing. So we're bringing good luck to the um, this part of the business. How far back does this go as far as uh, history goes? Somewhere in probably uh, two to three thousand years ago, you start seeing uh, lion dance performed for the emperor and things like that. There, there's a lot of different stories, but like one that I know of is, is a. They, they would be like a tiger or something and they would end up killing the tiger and they would use the tiger skin and the tiger head to scare where any, any, like she says, any spirits or any animals or something for like restaurants, different things like that. And eventually it evolved into what it is now. And later uh, in the history, Kung Fu School started uh, doing the lion dance and it would represent the spirit of the Kung Fu School. And Kung Fu Schools would compete against each other at, uh, so a big restaurant would open up and they would invite all the local Kung Fu Schools and they would compete against each other for the payment for the lion dance. And it was said that the, the way that you dance the lion dance represented the spirit of your Kung Fu School as well. <laughs>